Hello everyone and welcome to another Yachtway Spotlight. Today we are going to take a look at this Omicron OT60 here in Put Tusadov. Now we are inside a sailing yacht hall and you may wonder why is this motor yacht in the sailing yacht hall? Well it may make a lot of sense after we go over some of the staggering numbers of this boat. Length 60 feet, beam 19.9 feet, range 1000 nautical miles at 8 knots and a fuel tank capacity 317 gallons. Total weight 45,000 pounds. So incredible that it won the European Powerboat of the Year 2024 award. Come with me and let's take a look at it. The amazing thing about Putusadov is that the boats are all out of the water and we are able to see underneath it. I want to point out the draft of this boat. It's a 60 footer and the draft is 2.8 feet, which is absolutely unheard of. And it has a keel in a dead center, which makes this boat the perfect boat for Bahamas and for the Great Loop. Starting with the Omicron OT60, all the way in the aft deck over here, kind of like an area which you can use, as you can see, for lounging as it's set up right now, or you can use it as a tender storage to keep your tender on. Now, you may very well ask, how do I get this thing down? Because it's not hydraulic. Well, I'm glad you asked, because this whole thing over here acts as a crane for your tender. And not only is it a crane, it also acts as a passerelle. So this whole thing pivots out towards the dock and obviously you can adjust the tilt of it and of course you can also use it as a platform to jump into the water out in open ocean. Now as we keep walking right over here we have kind of like a storage unit so this whole thing opens up obviously goes both sides you have storage over here a great place to keep your fenders and lines at and as we keep walking Right over here, you have shower, which you can use to rinse yourself off, and winches, one on either side. Both this big, these, are, these come in handy. The first thing as you step kind of like on the main deck in the aft saloon area is the beam comes to realization right away. This is humongous. First thing, you have a big sunbed over here. Not just is a sunbed, but you can pop up these tables, one on either side, becomes an amazing area to entertain your guests at or have a great dinner or lunch at. These areas over here, you have storage units underneath. So again, great place to keep all your things. I mean, a 60 foot boat, even though it's not big boat for owner operator, you do find it useful to have uh, kind of like a second helm station. So you can easily use this when you do stern in mooring, which is absolutely fantastic. As we keep walking, uh, what I do want to point out is this barbecue out, out here. A great place to kind of you catch a fresh fish, put it on a grill over here and serve it right to the guests over here. Now, what's great about this whole area over here is you have this kind of like a track, which means that you can put kind of like an isinglass drop down, creates this an enclosed area. So if you are doing maybe a fall or kind of like early spring cruising, this would become a great feature and becomes handy. Also speakers right at the top and track lights, which go all the way inside, which we'll come back to in a moment, but very nicely finished over here. And I do want to point out that this is hole number one from this manufacturer. So I do want to make you kind of like pay attention to the details because I think they've done a fantastic job for this price point. As we keep walking towards the bow, the first thing that you will notice the moment you step on board is these super wide walkways. I mean, there's so much space that you can kind of walk left and right just on the sides of the boat. And as you walk, you have massive windows, one on either side. So if you do need to grab a line from here or whatever you have shorthanded, this is again, a great feature to have on the boat. As we keep walking, uh, even though it's not a flybridge boat, they have included like a like stairs over here. What you can do is you can climb up and you have, you have cushions over here so you can use it as a lounge area. If you don't want to use it as a lounge area, what you can do is you can actually put solar panels over here. So reducing your carbon footprint even more shows you why this boat is at the sailing yacht section. Now, as we come down over here, 
Underneath over here, hidden, are windshield wipers, beautifully tucked away so you'll never see them. I absolutely hate seeing windshield wipers. It makes zero sense. The sunbed over here, which is what's cool is, you have these kind of like a, uh, extra window latches, exit latches right underneath the cushions. You can obviously close them, but what they did is they didn't make these squares just lift off so you have to store them somewhere. They are attached to the cushion over here. So if you want, you can just flip them on and off and you don't have to worry about storing them. You have another kind of latch over here, which is uh, towards the owner's cabin. But right next to that is a latch for a crew cabin. So this boat very much has a crew cabin, not for just one person, but actually for two. So you have two bunks over here and you have a head right over here as well. So a cool feature to have. So right underneath this panel over here is uh, your anchor, kind of like a control unit with two cleats, with tracks over there. Keeps this whole thing tucked away and makes it look nice and clean so it's not bothering your eyesight when you're on the go. And what's also very cool is that this anchor very much looks like a sailboat. And if you look around, even the boat right in front of us, the anchor is actually tucked the exact same way. So omnits towards the sailing yacht community once again. If you feel like there's too much sun, what you can do is you can install carbon fiber poles, one on either side, and attach kind of like a bimini canvas right over your sunbed, offering you plenty enough shade, even during the sunniest days. As we keep walking, nice kind of track lights all over the, all across the boat, which is great. And again, another window right over here next to the helm station. What I would like to see actually is the bow thruster is all the way on your left hand side, which we'll come back to, but I noticed right away from here, it would be great if it would be here. So if you do need to adjust your bow, it would be easily accessible. But as we keep walking, we're heading towards the inside of the boat. As we walk inside, the first thing I notice is starboard side, port side, you have these nice big windows, which actually fold up. So giving you kind of like plenty of openness. And of course, these two doors, and as I walk in, 6-1, I mean, there's plenty of space on my, above my head. And as I walk in, there's even more headroom. Headroom is something that is staggering in this boat. There's so much space. Obviously, it helps. It's 19.9 foot beam. First thing, starboard side, you have a big TV. What's cool is there's actually only one button. So you push this button. You don't have to hold it. It'll go down itself, which is super cool. Otherwise, usually there's two buttons up and down. You have to hold it. This is great. Love that feature. Again, as you put the uh, TV down, you have a great um, window. Same on the other side. Right over here, you have a, like a sink. I'm sure you can configure this however you want, but this is what this boat has. And right over here, on your left-hand side, you have a fridge. So you can grab a drink real fast over here. On your port side, you have a huge kind of like a lounge bed, I want to say. What's great is you have cup holders integrated into it and a storage. And if you do want to have a fourth, call it a fourth cabin, what you can do is you can just lift this up and flip this side upside down. And now you, you have a sofa bed over here for, for, your, for your guests. Now, I do want to do a height test. So if you're 6'1", can you fit here? Oh my God, plenty of space, huh? You can easily lay down over here. And right in front of you over here, more storage. So all your paperwork, things like that, you can keep right over here. Helm station on your starboard side. And what's good is you have kind of like a seating that is, I mean, yeah, first thing, visibility out is incredible. I mean, everything is glass basically, so that's what you would imagine. These seats, they fold down. Yeah, I mean, this is comfortable. You, you feel comfortable going at eight knots over here. This is not about getting from point A to point B as fast as possible. This is really enjoying getting from point A to point B, which is, I mean, a lot of people like this stuff. So um, first thing, steering wheel right over here, your throttle controls, bow thruster, which I mentioned, would be great to have it over here. 
I see why not. I think it's an easy thing to do. Again, this is a hole number one. I'm sure they figured some things out themselves already. Uh, audio control, VHF, dual screens. What's great is you have a, kind of like a Garmin uh, camera right at the top over here. So you can see as you're getting towards the dock, you can easily you know, monitor everything. Light control, Garmin panel right over here. And of course you can configure this however way you like. You can use charts or see your uh, light controls over here. You have shades which you can pull down just like this. So if you are sleeping over here or at nighttime and you want to have extra privacy, you definitely have this option. As I walk down over here, uh, so you have your galley area over here, little lounge area over here. I'm 6'1". I think there's like another seven feet above me. There's, this feels not a 60 footer. This feels like a mega yacht. I mean, there's so much space. This is absurd. This shouldn't even be possible. Uh, <laughs> but it definitely is. Man, that's why probably they won a European Powerboat of the Year award as well. Uh, you have a fan over here, cooked up, Miele cooked up with four burner uh, top, storage units all over, over, and you also have a dishwasher. Now, you may wonder, why do we have two, two faucets over here? Kind of makes no sense on a motor yacht. Now, this comes actually, again, from the sailing yacht side. One is a salt water and the other one is a fresh water. So what you can do is you can wash your dishes using a salt water and then rinse it off with a fresh water. Now, talking about a water, a boat this size usually has a water tank like 80 gallons, maybe 90 gallons fresh water tank. This one, 158 gallons. You don't even need a salt water. You have so much fresh water on board. More storage over here and a nice dining area right over here as well. So if you do want to be downstairs, grab a quick bite, you can definitely do that. And you don't feel like you're in, in an enclosed area whatsoever. What's cool is on the other side over here, I actually notice now is these kind of little pockets. So if you have magazines or nitty gritty that you want to store away, these walls are also usable storage areas, which on a boat comes in handy once again. All the way to the bow now is where you have your owner's cabin. As I walk in, again, I mean, this is, this is unbelievable. So owner's cabin all the way forward. You have your crew cabin behind this bulkhead over here. You have a nice uh, makeup table, if I, wanna, if I may say, or an office table, and with an ottoman. This ottoman you can store away, giving you more floor space. And another TV on the wall over here as well. Now, what would be great is if this TV kind of maybe pivots out, because if you are on the, kind of like on the port side, you may not see it very well. But again, I think it's just something simple that you can do. And a cité right over here as well. So if you want to sit, take a break before you go to sleep, you can do that. Cool thing is, usually, obviously you have a dry head. A lot of boats have a dry head. So this one, not just does it have a dry head, but on your starboard side, you have uh, your head and on the port side is where you have your shower. So two separate units, which I think is really cool and something that you don't really see boats this size. Okay, so I'm inside. Again, I mean, plenty space, storage over here. Yeah, plenty storage and more access storage panels right over here as well. So, fantastic. Now, this is obviously not the only cabin. You know what? The doors and all the floor panels, as well as the wall panels, these are all like foam inside. So, it makes the boat super light, which I told you is 45,000 pounds. Once again, very unheard of for this size boat. Guest cabins, you have one on either side, on the port side and your starboard side. We start off with the port side. First door on your uh, right over here is kind of like a Jack and Jill. So you, have, you can use it as a day head and it is also a dry head, which you can also access from the guest cabin right down below over here. You have a nice, I want to say this is a queen size bed. Plenty of space over here. Again, 6'1", plenty of space over my head. More storage above your head and a nice hanging closet right over here as well. 
Something that a lot of experienced boaters are, have asked and are asking, when you're doing a great loop or when you're on the boat yourself, sometimes you need to repair things. These are boats, they break. So how do you access all these um, breakers? Well, these guys really thought about it. So you have these latches and you can open up the whole electrical array over here. I have no idea what any of these cables do and many don't. But what they have done is they have labeled everything so it's super easy to access things, troubleshoot, so you don't have to start pulling your panels apart. Again, great attention to detail. As we go towards the right, we have another guest cabin, a third guest cabin. But before we go there, I want to show you the massive fridge. So you have a proper, proper Miele fridge with a freezer right below as well. Excellent. As we go down, you know, I wanted to say that this is the only place I have to duck, but I don't. I literally clear everything. Amazing. So you have, these are bigger than twin beds, but you know, one on either side, plenty of space. You have windows at the top, windows right over here and windows on the waterline as well. So very nice, as well as dry head right over here. Again, plenty of space. What could be cool is, you know, if they have a rain shower, but this is probably something that if you have a rain shower, it's kind of splashing all over the place. I could, I guess, make this glass a little bit taller. But again, this is me trying to nitpick of, on something because there's nothing bad I can say about this pot. So I'm just thinking about improvements. Again, fantastic. To all my friends who love engine rooms, today we're gonna go deep into the rabbit hole. Uh, first thing as I open this whole door, sound dampening. This boat has sound dampening everywhere. And I heard that when you're cruising with this boat at eight knots, you do not hear the engines. Now, don't take my word on it, but that's what I was told, that this boat is silent as a sailboat. Now, let's go downstairs. Okay, we're in the engine room right now. Uh, on your starboard side, you have your engines, both of these engines, Starboard ports are obviously are uh, by Yanmar. So if you know anything about bulletproof engines, Yanmar's, uh, Yanmar's are very much these engines. They have a lifespan of almost, I think 10,000 hours, which is staggering. And these are standard engines, but you can option your um, um, Omicron OT60 with uh, Yanmar 250s, which gives you an extra two knots of cruising speed. Now, right over here is your Freshwater maker, so on top of the 158 gallons of fresh water, you also have a freshwater maker, which is fantastic. And again, everywhere you look, you have plenty of sound dampening, even all the way at the top. Battery charger unit right over here. You have your power uh, access panel right over here. Plenty of space to kind of walk around. And another engine, your chiller unit right over here, and your fan one on either side. So, plenty of space. Everything is very easily accessible. And of course, you also have a generator right over here, which for US versions would be a quarter generator, I'm pretty sure. The answer to the question you all have been waiting for is how much does this boat cost? Now, typically, a 60-foot boat would cost around three plus million dollars. This boat, fully loaded, delivered in US, costs $2.25 million. Now, if you are the first couple or first person to order this boat or a, your brand new Omicron OT60, the US authorized dealer flies you and your companion to Greece in first class for you to take delivery of your OT60. If you're looking to buy your next motor yacht, then visit Yachtway.com. Yachtway is an award-winning MLS Plus platform that connects you with brokers and authorized yacht dealers near you via modern user interface, making the yacht purchasing so much more enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe button and like button down below. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.